Welcome to this course on Linux Privilege Escalation. Thank you very much for purchasing the course. I hope it provides some useful insights into privilege escalation on Linux systems, which is especially useful if you are planning on taking the OSCP exam. Some quick information about myself to start things off. I've been a penetration tester for about seven years, but I've been using Linux and Unix-like systems for about 13 years. I am OSCP certified, and I use a lot of what I'm about to teach on the course, both in the OSCP labs and in the exam. I'm the creator of the Auto Recon tool for enumeration, again, something I used in the labs and the exam. It's not Privesk related, but if you are stuck trying to enumerate services on lab hosts, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. Finally, I'm one of the admins of the InfoSec Prep Discord server, which is aimed at trying to support students of InfoSec. We have many OSCP certified members who are willing to help out with any questions you have, but if you want to message me directly about anything to do with the course, you can find me there. As a little overview, this course will focus on privilege escalation techniques in Linux and Unix-like systems, not Windows. After completing this course, you should know how basic user privileges work in Linux, as well as multiple techniques for escalating your user's privileges. More importantly, you should learn why and how these methods work. Finally, we will learn how to use some tools to help identify privilege escalations. As far as I'm aware, all the tools I'm going to show you are perfectly fine to use in the OSCP exam too, and I definitely recommend using tools in the exam to save time. So what will you need before starting this course? Well, I'm not going to teach how to use Linux. I will certainly be showing you all the commands necessary to find and exploit privilege escalations, and in some cases I will explain the command in detail. But if you are new to Linux, you should definitely read up on the basics and be relatively confident with a Linux shell. This course also won't cover how to exploit a system to get a low privilege shell. This is a post-exploitation course, so everything is going to assume that you already have a full working shell as some user on the system. We will be using a vulnerable Debian VM for the course, which was created as part of a local privilege escalation workshop, not affiliated with the course. The VM is special in that it contains multiple misconfigurations which allow privilege escalation. You can download the VM from the Udemy course page. This is recommended as this version has a few new methods of privilege escalation which I configured. The low privileged user account password is password321. The root user account, which you can use if you need to configure the VM or reset something, is password123. However, if you've already got the Debian VM set up because you tried out the workshop before, you can download a bash script I wrote from the URL on the screen, and as long as you run it as the root user, it should perform all the extra misconfigurations. A quick disclaimer for this course. This course was designed with the OSCP labs and exam in mind. However, it attempts to cover a wide range of escalation techniques beyond what an OSCP student is expected to understand. Understanding that privilege escalation is often highly complex and new techniques are developed over time, this course is not intended to be a complete guide to every privilege escalation technique. When appropriate, the author will update the course materials to include new techniques which are considered to be valuable. Finally, some acknowledgements. Without the people or organisations on the screen, this course would have been significantly harder to develop, and my gratitude goes out to them.